Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can have a switch component that looks like this compared to what could just look like this. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jacob Wall. I am the marketing and sales representative here at Wall to Wall Software. And today we're gonna to be talking about the TWW switch, which comes with our product Firepower, which uses the Fire Monkey library. Now compared to the native switch that comes with Delphi, the TWW switch which comes with Firepower allows you to easily customize your switch with a variety of different options. And some of the options that I'll be going over in this video is how you can change the image so you can select different images with the T image list and connect that to your switch. You then can categorize it into different group names and then I'll be showing you how you can easily implement it into your data grid. So let's look at an example of what the TWW switch can do with our demo firepower. So make sure to check out our link right here. If you want to find it within your directory, you'll be able to find it within your directory. If you've downloaded our product firepower, or even have the trial version, but let's run the program. And once we run the program, this screen will pop up and then let's go to switches and images walkthrough. The switches and images walkthrough will show you this screen and these are all different images using our one component TWW switch. These are all just different TWW switches that are linked to different images using a T image list. So here's are some buttons where we can rate it from high priority to low priority. These are different switches and we can even change the color within our demo. We can change the switch color to be black. We can rate it with using little emojis. We could put a pin in it. And these are just different ideas, of course, right? You can use this to your own creativity and use it what would work best for your end user. So let's look at now how you can incorporate a TWW switch into your own program. So with like every project, we need to create a new multi-device application when we do that by going to file, new multi-device application mine's already open and we are going to add our tww switch this will be into your palette if you've installed firepower but we can drag this into our application and then we can go we, we next we need to add a t image list but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to add the image list from our main demo so the way to get to this screen right here and we can copy switch images which is right there is we need to go to dm memory then double click this right here, FPDM unit. Once you double click, this will pop up and then we can copy switch images and go back to our product and then paste this in. If you have your own images you'd like to use, then use that using the T image list. But if you want to use our switch images, you can go and do the steps that I just indicated. So we go to that, we paste this in and we have our switch images. So let's go now to the TWW switch, select that and go to images. We select our image list, which is the switch images. And then the image off, we can go to image name. And then the image off that I would want is I'm gonna do LED off. And then let's go to image on, go to image name, and then click LED on. And just like that, we run the program and we're going to be able to have our simple switch. It's off right now. It's on. I click it, it's on. It's off and then it's on. Just like that. Super simple. Very easy to integrate it into any of your applications. Before I go into the next point about group names and how you can sync your switches together, I want to show you this website called Vector Stock dot com and if you type in switches right here you're gonna see all of these switches that you can purchase they are royalty free and these are all different kinds of ideas that you can add and then you can download this and put it into your image list and then sync this with our TWW switch but there's all these different options for you to use and if you're like me and it would take you forever to build your own switch, this is a great website to just have a custom built one or one that is already built. 
Now let's go back to our application and let's add more switches and then have them in the same group. So we do this, I'm just gonna do something super simple and I'm just gonna control, copy and can paste. I'm gonna paste four more. And I'll drag them up so a little bit. Just look a little bit nicer. We'll line them up side by side. And then let's select them all. And we are going to change the group name to test. It's not the most original group name, but you'll see what I mean. And now if I run the program, oh, that's not the program. Let's try that again. Here we go. If I select this switch and I select a different one, this one goes away. So if it wasn't in a group, this would still have been left on. So let me show you that real quick. If we go back to our project and now let me uncheck them or all, uh, take away the group name so they're all just individual and then I run the program, you're going to see now they're not linked together. So if I select this button right here or this switch and then I click this one, this one is still left on. Now there might be a use for that. You might enjoy that or want that in your program. But it depends, right? If you may want to have the flexibility to just all of a sudden, when you click on one, the other one goes away because it's in a group, right? If you have one out of five, you don't want four and two also uh, linked. You just want to have one of them be clicked and then the other one will go away. Last thing that I want to show you now, and this is how you can implement this into your data grid. And so I'm just going to add a TFD mem table for my example. Let's um let's get rid of we'll get rid of these four. We don't need all of them anymore. So let's get rid of this. And then we're going to go to TFD mem table. And you may already have you probably already have your database, so you don't need to do this, but for this example, I am going to add a bind source to my FD mem table. And then I'm going to load from file and I'm going to add my customers. And so next I need to add a TW data grid, which is also in our product Firepower. And we go to align and we we'll align this to the client. And then I will uh, have my data source be on bind source DB12. And then this is gonna pop up. Now my buyer option right here is yes or no. And I think this would be perfect to add a switch rather than having it just as a yes or a no, I will have a switch to tell me if it's a yes or a no. What I can do now is I'm gonna right click this, I will go to edit columns, and I don't know why it popped down here, but I'm gonna click on buyer, and then I'm going to change the control, uh, the yeah, custom control to my switch. Now we have a switch instead of a yes or a no, so one thing you need to make sure that you do those, you need to make sure that you go to your switch. Oh, where did my switch go? I'm not sure where it went. It just kind of disappeared on me. Oh, we'll just click right here. Yep, it's hiding right there. We need to go to our switch and then go to our value checked to be yes and our value unchecked to be no. So when I run the program, you're gonna see that the buttons that are lighted or turned on mean they are a buyer. Yes, they are a buyer. And if the button is not on, they are not a buyer. So this is an easy way for you to just add a simple switch. And then if I wanna change this, I'm like, oh, um, Giant Plumbing is actually a buyer and I'm gonna change that to yes. Just a simple click and a button just to help in my organization for my own client or for my own end user in this example. So I hope you can see how easy it is to add a TWW switch to your application. And yes, you can go into even more detail if you like. You can check out our demo, which shows you even more components that you can use, uh, that you can do with the TWW switch. But I hope you can understand that it, with just a couple of clicks, you now have a TWW switch. You can connect it to a T image list to make it the exact image that you want your switch to look like.
And then if you want to categorize it, or even if you want to add it to your data grid, it doesn't take almost any time whatsoever. And as programmers, our time is very important. So thank you for watching our video. Thanks for being here. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. And also check out our website if you want to download a free trial of our product Firepower, or even our other products, InfoPower and First Class. So thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time.